month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth. Let's read that again. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God. Was sent from God. <laughs> was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. And as I was preparing, and I was trying to move on, you know how you study it's like you're trying to move on, but God arrested us. He just kept bringing us back to Gabriel was sent from God. Sent. He didn't just, as somebody said, went. He was sent, praise God. Amen. He was sent from God. But just let's look at that, sent from God. Woo. Let's look at the power of the God we serve. Let's look at the power of the help that we have with us today. Amen. And when the world seems to be going topsy-turvy and the world seems to be falling apart, we have a God still on the throne, bless God. But notice that he was sent from God. We have a God that sits outside of time. Yes. He sits and dwells in the hills of heaven. He sits in the unseen realm. Yes. And yet, bless God, he rules and reigns. He knows your address today. He knows your name today. He knows the number of hairs upon our head today. A sparrow doesn't fall to the ground except he knows about it today. He's an all-knowing, almighty God. He yes, yes, yes. knows every thought that you're going to think before you think it. Yes. Every word that you'll speak before you speak it. Oh, praise God. In fact, he knows just what our thoughts are right now. He sits on the outside of time. He sits in the unseen realm, and yet he is in our midst today. Yes. He is omnipresent. There is no place that he is not. Yes. And if we would let's say that God is there in the unseen realm, my sister has a saying, the here is in the there. Mm -hmm. The there is T-H-E-R-E. -E. So that's the here in the there. Mm -hmm. But not only uh -huh. that, the he is in the here. Yes. So he is here, uh -huh. and the he is in the here. Yes. So he just testifies yes. all yes. over yes. the place, yes. praise yes. God. Yes. Puts yes. the message yes. in the word all over the place so we won't um, uh, we won't get it twisted in the sense that we know that he is ever present, praise God. Yeah. The God that we serve. And think out of all the things that are going on in the world, mm -hmm. we as the saints of God can have a resting place, and that is in the Lord. Thank you, Thank you That we have a resting place. Uh, we look back on history, and we see when God brought the children of Israel out of Egypt, and we see when they were in Egypt, all hell was breaking loose. We see that in the land of Goshen, uh -huh. he had a resting place. Jesus. This God that sits on the circle of the earth, this God, praise God, that's always uh, ever minding, mindful of us, who neither sleeps nor does he slumber, and he does not blink. <laughs> he keeps his eyes on his children moment by moment, praise God. He's a God of compassion. Yes. Yes. Let's look for a moment uh, at Psalms 139.7. It, it, it asks the question, where shall I go from your spirit? Mm -hmm. Oh, where shall I flee from your presence? Uh -huh. Isn't it good to know, bless God, that no matter where we are today, bless God, there's no place that we can go from God, that Amen. he is everywhere. He is everywhere in your thoughts and in your dreams, praise God. Oh, my, my, my. Somebody might say, well, what do you mean? Well, I tell you, I got to know Jesus when uh, I was asleep one night, praise God. And uh, uh, he, this man, he came up, he touched me, he says, time for you to be saved now. I said, I don't know whether you say this, and I turned my back to walk away. Now, this was in my dream, in my sleep, a vision I was seeing. And when I turned my back to walk away, he laid his hand. He said, I'll show you. He laid his hand on my back in my sleep, in my bed. And my, I, if a bolt of electricity hit me, I want you to know it was wonderful. But a drop more, I would have just been out the planet. It was wonderful. And my mouth began to say, thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My spirit came alive. Thank you, Ooh. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I know what they mean yes. when the song said, he touched me. Oh. And I know what the is saying, that he can touch you in your sleep, yes. in your dream. Ooh. Where yes. can you go from his presence? Yes. Where can you hide today Ooh. from him, praise God? Oh, you can't run, you can't hide. Yes. Where shall I go from your spirit? Or where shall I flee?
speak from your presence. Psalms 33, 13 through 14 reveals that our God exists outside of our created world. Let's look at this. The Lord looks down from heaven. He sees all the children of men. Thank you, God. From where he sits enthroned, he looks out on all the inhabitants of the earth. Yet God also, God is also everywhere within our world, praise God. Mm -hmm. He's here, he's there, he's everywhere, praise Amen. God. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Jeremiah, let's look at that, 23 and 20, 23, 24 says, Can a man hide himself in secret places so that I cannot see him, declares the Lord? Do I not feel heaven and earth, declares the Lord? In other words, God is testifying of himself today. He said, don't let your heart be troubled and neither let it be afraid. Many things that we are here going on in this world, in this life, but why should we be troubled? Why should we be afraid when he's here, there, and everywhere? And he watches you moment by moment. He doesn't yes, sleep yes. on the job. He doesn't bleed. He doesn't go weary. He doesn't go tired. Praise yeah. God. Always on time, bless Thank God. You, Jesus. Oh my God. Jesus. Something happens when women of power speak. Yes. And this is an hour that women of power know how to rest in his presence. Jesus. We rest in his presence because when we speak, bless God, we want the weight of what God has to say to have nothing to pull, nothing to drain, praise God. We want God to come through, bless God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Let's look now. Oh, praise God. This is good. This is good. Gabriel was sent from God. Okay, Gabriel, the archangel. God said, I know how to send help into your life. I know how to get your attention when I need you. I know. And he sends to a little girl in Nazareth. I'm talking about women of power today. Women of power are not women that you're behind the pulpit preaching, so you're a woman of power. That's not what we're talking about today with the God that we serve. Yes. Yes. He's a people God. Yes. God that wants you in the supermarket to be able to carry a word to somebody that's yes. about to give yes. up. Somebody yes. about to throw in the towel. Somebody yes. saying, I'm through. I'm going home. I'm just going to just take myself up off of this planet. But you being a woman of power, shopping that morning. Just passing by. But the spirit of the holy God is with you. You may not say a word, but when you pass by, you're speaking. Yeah, all right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Peter, praise God. Walking down the city street, didn't have to say a word, but he was speaking. Yes. He was packing power, praise God. Yes. Something happens when women of God speak, praise God. People can be set free just by your very presence in the area, praise God. Just by your handshake, just by your hand wave, That's praise right. God. That's right. Amen. Something happens when women of power speak, praise God. But it's not always in the vocals, bless God. Amen. Oh, something right. happened when you were standing in that line and everybody was getting antsy. But why were you standing there so calm? Yes. Why were you standing there unmoved? somebody watching you say. And they might strike up a conversation because they can't understand why you not riled up. I want you to know something happens when women of God speak, praise God. When you're in that place and just your very demeanor, just your presence is testifying of Jesus. That's right. Just your presence is showing the fruit of God. Yes. My friend and I, we were talking about the fruits of the Spirit. One of the fruits of the Spirit is peace. But that's also a weapon of war. Because when you may be in a place that you might need to hold your peace, your life may yeah. be, um, depends on you holding That's your right. peace. But if right. you don't have that fruit there to help you bear up, then yes. you hold your yes. peace, praise God. Jeez. Then we got a problem, praise God. Mm -hmm. Fruits of the Spirit, speaking through those fruits in our lives, praise God. Kindness, kindness can save a life. Right. You there and everybody, you pass the man in the car, you pass the person on the street in your car. He's there with a sign. Sometimes, you know, the enemy wasn't happy, but just judge him. They just out there, they just doing that. But oh, what about when somebody passed by with a little kindness? 
Yes. And it does not always mean that you have to give them anything. Mm -hmm. But just that demeanor, just that something that flows up out of you called love, called kindness, can radiate. They do not have to seek disgust. They don't have to seek judgment or attitude. But women of God, we yes. speak without speaking, praise yes. God. Right. Something happens, praise God, when we speak, bless God, without speaking, praise God. Mm -hmm. And then the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth. And the Lord brought this thought that it is time and meaning that this is an unusual time that we're in. And God is going to begin to make some house calls. He is going to begin to uh, beckon you to come forward, praise yes. God. He is going to, yes. uh, he has something to institute in the earth realm. Bless God. There's some prophetic words that have been spoken over our lives that God has said, it's time. It's time for you to pay up. It's time for you to stand up. It's time for you to come forward. It's time for me to set my plan in motion. Things are wrapping up in this world, praise yes. God. Amen. Thank God, God was right on time when he sent, G he sent Gabriel to Mary, bless God. Yes, Jesus. To a virgin, his spouse to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. God does not mind when he calls you if what he calls you to do brings about a bit of controversy. Amen. Can you imagine you getting ready to get married and then you, you go uh, telling the man that you're getting ready to get married, I am pregnant with a child? Can you imagine his response? It might not be, oh, happy day, praise God. It may be a worry how to put you away, bless God. Because it brings about sometimes God gives you something to do and it's different, it can bring you into a place of controversy. Yes, God. yes. And this is an hour that God is going to be doing some fresh and new things, Ooh, and their Jesus. things are going to be different. Jesus. They're not going to line up with the same old, same old, and it may bring you to a place of controversy. But I want to tell you, Mary, something happens, praise God, when women of God speak, praise God. Something happens when you give God your answer. May it be yea or nay, praise God. Something happens, bless God. Amen. Let's see what goes on. Bless God. Thank you, Jesus. You know, and no, God knows your address. He knows your phone number. He knows where you work if you work. He knows where you go to the gym at if you go. If you go. He knows all these things. So you can't run, you can't hide, bless God. God has assigned something for each one of us to do. Uh -huh. Let's just look around the room today. We have body parts in the room. Let's say body parts. Body Every body, body part has an assignment. Amen. Yes. Nobody has to look and compare. My sister on the front row, she and I, we don't have to look at each other and compare because we have an assignment from God. Amen. We are body parts, praise God. And we depend on one the other. But we have to do our own assignment, yes. praise God. Amen. So as people today in the room, people of power, women of power, men of power, praise God, we have been given an assignment. Let's just say we are a team today. Yes. And as a team, no matter what your assignment is, your assignment may be that when you're going to the doctor's office, you're yes. always just speaking life. You're full of joy. You're full of peace. Your assignment is maybe just to keep glorifying God, yes. to be that worshiper God has called you to be, to have that word that when you come, people are going to know that when you open your mouth and speak, there won't be no foolishness, but there will be power coming yes. out. They can depend on you to have a word of wisdom coming out your mouth. That's right. If nobody right. else will have a a word of wisdom. They can depend on you to have a song coming forth that Amen. will bring glory to God. They can depend on you to yes. do something that will shift their atmosphere. Praise yeah. God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Something happens when Amen. women of power yes. speak praise God. God. Thank you, Lord God. Mama. And the angel um, said unto her, Luke 135, let's look at this. And the angel said unto her, the Holy Ghost shall come upon thee but he had told Mary, given Mary the word about she should bring forth a child, call his name Jesus. He was going to save his people from his sins. His name would be called Emmanuel. And let's look at um, Mary's response. Mary asked, has a question she asked. Hold on one second. Mary asked a question. Hmm. Okay, she asked a question. How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? Now, he done told you, Dr. Barber, he's going to do great things with you and stuff. 
So it means that you won't have no business saying, well, how this going to be? I don't have no building, and I don't have no troop like that, and I don't have no money like that. How is this going to? Thank God, thank God for Mary's response. Mm -hmm. It wasn't that kind of response. Oh, thank you, God. But oh, a women of power, yeah, women who know how to ask the right Ooh, question Jesus. at the right time. Jesus. They are women who know how to hear the matter out before they interrupt. Yeah, because uh -huh. when she uh -huh. Gabriel start talking, and those mean somebody might say, "Hold it, hold it." No, mm -hmm. she heard it out, mm -hmm. and yeah. then she asked the question, "How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? I don't have nobody to help me with this one." Uh, I, I'm a virgin. I, I know not how. This is utterly impossible. My God. Ah, this yes. is outright impossible. Ain't no use. Ain't. The God who sits outside of time, yet he's here and there and everywhere, has made a house call. He has impressed you in your spirit that it's time for a change. Yes. Uh huh. And so she wants, she has a question. Now, somebody has uh, want to take the bailout plan, but she has a question. How shall this be? See, I know not a man. Luke 135. And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Uh -huh. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. He goes back. The Holy Ghost. Yes. Let's not forget the Holy Ghost in this hour. Ooh. What can we do without God with us? What can we do without God Almighty? Praise God. The Holy Ghost, Dr. Barbara, shall come upon you, bless God. The Holy Ghost shall overshadow you. Yes. The yes. Holy Ghost right. shall pull the bones together. You just start speaking it out. You just start prophesying this thing because of the praise God. Yes. You just start saying what God Praise God. The Holy Ghost will do the rest. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. He will pull this thing together. All we need out of someone today is a yes. 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 Ah, he's looking for a yes. Praise God. Thank you, God. He's looking for a yes. Praise God. And the angel answered and said, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the Most High shall overshadow thee. Therefore, also that holy thing shall, which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. Luke 1, 36 to 38. And behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, let's go here for a moment. She has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the month, sixth month with her who was called barren. Let's look at this. Elizabeth, uh, Zacharias in the temple, he gets the word of the Lord. What will you do today? When you get the word of the Lord. Mama. What will you do when you go back home and you're quiet and God comes and he tells you something that you never even considered could be a possibility. Mama. Praise God. That he, uh, an angel appears to Zacharias in the temple and many of us heard the story and tells Zachariah, him and his wife are going to uh, have a child. Hmm. Zacharias immediately began to look at humanity. He immediately begins to look at self. He immediately begins to look at his bank account. Mm -hmm. He immediately begins to look at uh, maybe his acquaintances, his friends. He said, I'm old. My wife is old. He immediately rules the thing out the picture that the God who sits on the circle of the earth has spoken and took the time to send yes. an angel on this side and this dimension. He rules out from the unseen realm what is said. In fact, all things are created from that unseen realm. Your answer is there, praise God. We pull it out. We declare it out. We declare it out. We proclaim it out, praise God. Amen. But he immediately goes against contrary to what God wants to do in his life. Mama. Let's watch our words. Women of power watch their word, praise God. And Amen. Because he did what he did, his voice was taken. He had no voice, bless God. It was taken because he would have talked himself out of this thing. Somewhere along the line, mm -hmm. something could have happened. If he still, he said, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. That was our, I won't tell who this was, but years ago we were at, we were coming from a church service and we saw another church service. We stopped at this house and they were having church in this house and we went in. One of the ladies that went in, she had trouble with her eyesight really bad with her vision and stuff, you know, and um, went in. The time she stepped in the door, the man stopped preaching. He said, God's healing your eyes. We get back in the car and when it was all over, she said, ooh, she said, I just can't believe it. I can see. 
I just can't believe it. Uh -oh. I can see. She was grinning. She was laughing. I'm thinking, y'all, not to play with something. I just can't believe it. I can see. Uh, they, they say, I just can't. Pretty soon. Mm -hmm. I just can't believe it. Let's Ooh. watch our words in yes. times like this. Let's yes. watch what we My say God. in times yes. like this. Words are seeds, bless God. Yes. We put seeds in the ground. We put seeds in the atmosphere, yes. praise God. And when we water them with our lavish, I just can't believe it, then we get a crop that we're not looking for. We get weeds huh. coming up, bless God. So let's guard up the things that we say in this hour, praise Amen. God. Jesus, Jesus. Let's notice this. Let me read this again. There's something Jesus. else God wants to say. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. And behold, that cousin Elizabeth, she has also conceived a son in her old age. Mm -hmm. When people had counted her out. And this is the sixth month with her who was called barren. See, God is waiting for somebody to call you barren today. <laughs> My God. He's waiting on somebody to judge you unfruitful today. He's waiting on somebody to say, oh, you're not going to amount to nothing. You're not going to do nothing. Uh, see, uh, he went to somebody that was called barren. He went to somebody that didn't have enough money in their bank account. He went to somebody that was not married and wanted to get married. Yeah. He went to somebody that didn't have what it takes. And the people say she don't have what it takes. There were witnesses around that called them barren because he needs that kind of platform in this house. Yes. Because that's when he gets his glory. That's when he gets, when they said the doctors couldn't do it, they moved you out. That's when God gets his glory, praise God. Because he is the only one, bless God, can do anything. Things that are impossible with men, they are possible with God. So he waits till they call you barren. They call you unfruitful. Uh, you know, she's been around doing this for a long time. Yes. Child, yes. I'm telling you, God said, now it's time. He's about to pull you forward, praise Jesus. Amen. Oh, looking for somebody that they call Mary. And notice he appeared in the life of Mary, somebody that was incapable of the assignment. Uh -huh. Looking for somebody that, that's in outright incapable. She knew it. Others that were close to it more likely knew it. God said, you be the one. See? You be the one, the one that says, I don't have what it takes. Mm. The one that uh, thinking on the inside is no use. God is, says now it's time. He's about to call many of those kind of people out to the forefront in Amen. this hour. The one that said, you know, I'm, I'm too old now. I'm, I'm too, I'm, I'm, I'm finished. I'm Jesus, through, praise Jesus. God. I'm wrapped up, praise God. The Ruth's and the Naomi's today, praise God. Yes. I'm, I'm wrapped up, you know. And Ruth, thank God she had the sense to go with Naomi, you know. And she said, your God going to be my God. And where you go, I'm going to go, you know. And thank God she had the wisdom to cleave to this woman. Cleave to this relationship because uh, yes. they brought it to a people place because yes. she found out yes. Boaz yes. because yes. Naomi had Ooh. the wisdom to tell her what to do and how to get Boaz, praise yes. God. He ended up being the great great grandfather of uh, King David or what have you, somewhere in that lineage. I mean, ended up being honored because of that. But they were broke, busted, and disgusted, praise Ooh. God. And about giving up on life, but all the while, God has a plan. We're talking to somebody today. God yes. has a plan. Yes. You are on the planet for a purpose, and I don't care what your age is. Don't think about the bell I play because it's not going to work, bless God. You, if you're here today, you want to do what God told you to do before you leave the planet. You give here for a purpose, praise God. And if God said, if I can turn this on back, I can restore your body. I can turn it back, praise God. Give you the time you need to do what I have put you on the planet to do, praise God. Be it done unto me according to my word. According to thy word. 
Be it done unto me yes. according to Ooh, thy word. Thank you, Jesus. Be it done unto me according to thy word. By the stripes of Jesus, I, we are, you are healed. The Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Uh -huh. yes, yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can do this thing. You can do this thing. God is going to increase. And God, I love the scripture where God says in Psalms 115, he will increase us more and more and our children. Praise Hello. God. Amen. Oh, yes, yes. Amen. Be it done unto us. Yes. Be it done unto me according to yes. thy word. Praise yes. God. They come with the package plan. Praise God. Uh -huh. Oh, my God. When God blesses us, bless God, he blesses our children. Praise yes. God. Hello. Remember when Abraham had the son Ishmael? Thank bless you. God. And uh, Sarah said, put him out. After Sarah don't read and all her yes. stuff he did, yes. bless God. Put him out. Bless God. And don't try to help God out doing nothing, Sarah. Praise God. You know how. <laughs> put him out. And so as a result, they end up putting him out. And they went out. And uh, the baby, she put the baby up on the bush because it was out of water. And didn't want, she didn't want to see the baby die. She went a little ways away. But then the angel appeared and said, I heard the baby cry. Ooh. Your bloodline cry. Your blood. God is interested in your bloodline, praise God. He's interested. He will answer because of your bloodline, bless yes. God. I heard the yes. baby cry, praise God. I will increase you more and more and your children, praise God. Thank you, God. Jesus. Be it done unto me according to thy word, praise yes. God. As soon as she spoke that, the angel departed, bless God. Thank you, Jesus. Now, we want to look. There's some things we want to look at, bless God. Mm. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. You are awesome in this place. Thank you, Jesus. The words that um, the words that Mary spoke. Okay, Mary goes to Elizabeth House. You know what? Mary goes to Elizabeth House. Praise God. Amen. And uh, thank you, Jesus. She goes to Elizabeth House. She goes just at the right time. Notice yes. the strategy of God. She does not go uh, the time that she thinks, but God is protecting right. her because this is a virgin birth. Yes. God yes. is putting her under care. He's putting yes. her on a watch. He's putting her on a guard. So she goes to Elizabeth's house. And as soon as she walks in the door, she greets Elizabeth. We're talking about women of power speaking uh -huh. now. She greets Elizabeth. Then her uh, greeting, because of the greeting, because of the greeting, yeah. not only did uh, uh, Elizabeth get filled with the Holy Ghost, but the baby, John the wow. Baptist, got filled with the Holy Ghost yeah. because of the uh, greeting, Paul. praise God. What's yeah. in your voice today? What's Ooh. in your praise voice God. today? Uh, Who has Paul. been with the Lord, praise Paul. God, that the yeah. power of God can get off? They had a thing about Peter and John when they, uh, the lame man at the gate, beautiful, when they went past, praise God. Amen. This man uh, asked for asked for a handout. They said, silver and gold have we not, but such as we have, give out to thee. Rise up and walk. And all this man was healed by the power of God. Later they were arrested because of the miracles uh, mm. that were done, praise God. And as a result, later they let them out of jail. But they had this testimony. They said they had been with Jesus. They had been with Jesus. Uh, They have been intimate with the Lord. They have been in his presence, bless God. They've been in his word, praise God. They've been listening. They've been yielded spirits, praise God. Yes. They've been doing all they can do to serve the Lord, bless God. And as a result, it's like putting um, something in a bowl and marinating it. When's the last time you marinated in the presence of the Lord? When was the last time you really marinated in his presence? You laid back, kicked back. This is an hour God is calling us to marinate yes. in his presence. Yes. Get so in his presence, bless God, that that aroma, that fragrance of Jesus will get off on us so that when we go to the grocery store, where are we going? Somebody may be asking arms. The power of God will be there so a person can be healed and set free by the power of God, praise God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Elizabeth spoke something, and she told Mary these words. She said, um, blessed is she that believe, for there shall be a performance. Who believe the word of the Lord today? That they're the head, not the tail. Amen. They're the above Amen. and not the knee. They're the lender and not the borrower. Yes. Who is it that believe the word of the Lord that you can do all things through Christ that strengthen of you? Who believes the word of the Lord that he who has begun a good work in you shall perform it until the day of Jesus Christ? Yes. Who believes the word of the Lord? Blessed is she that believes, for there shall be a performance yes. of those things that were uh, yes. 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 The 
word of the Lord, pray to God. Oh, that my peace I give unto you, my peace I leave with you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Who has believed the word of the Lord? Who has believed my report, the Lord says, by my stripes you are healed. Not by what you see, not by how you feel, not by what they said, he said, she said, but because it is written, praise God, because this is the word of the Lord. Who has believed this report? Mary said, be it done unto me according to Oh, praise God. Oh, and he was begun a good work in us. He shall continue to perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. God is not through with us, bless God. Something happens when women of power speak, praise God. It happens when women of power speak because they carry the word of the Lord, praise God, bless God. They host the presence of the Lord. Are you hosting well in this hour? Are you hosting well? Does he feel welcome in your presence, praise God? Do you make the Holy Ghost welcome today, praise God? Thank you. you know, sometimes like a dove or something on your shoulder, if you're going to get all brash and rash, you know, they're going to fly off. Does the Holy Ghost feel, bless God, invited? Do we have an invited space today for God? Uh, will we talk any kind of way? Will we answer any kind of way? Will we say any kind of thing, praise God? Oh, yes, he's looking for a host today, somebody that will host his presence, bless God. Something happens, and your speaking can be what you do. I'm thinking of Martha Mary now. I'm thinking of Mary's attitude, bless God. She was speaking when she was not speaking. Mary, we heard her. I mean, Martha, we heard her loud and clear. And your Lord cared that not that Mary helps me. And, but look at the speech of Mary. She said at the feet of Jesus. Sometimes your speech... Your speaking you, is in your posture, in the way you posture yourself. Where are you posturing yourself at the day? Is it at the feet of Jesus? Mm. Is it at the word of God? Is it in his presence today, praise God? Something happens when women of God speak. Something yeah. happens when women of power. Women of power means that you've got to be a woman of love. Hallelujah. How can you not be? God is love, praise God. Amen. Mm. Amen. Women power have the host, have to carry love, a fruit of the spirit. Got to have it. Can't do without it. It's a must. It is a requirement. It's more than a necessity. Necessity is necessary, praise God. We have to have that fruit. Women of power, that love that says that if the leper comes up and wants to be in your midst, yes. and uh, we know that he's been to nobody's Sunday dinner, he's been to nobody's Thanksgiving dinner, he's been to no uh, parties, he's been to no private clubs, he's not in the uh, good old boys bunch, he's not in the uh, uh, sisterhood, bless God. He's just out there because he's a leper. He don't look like we look, he don't smell like we smell, he don't sound like we smell, you know, sound like we sound, bless God. But look at Jesus. Look at the love of God, praise yeah. God. Look at the impartiality. Hey, God. Look at the impartiality of Jesus. He was not worried, praise God, about none of that stuff, but love was speaking. Amen. Love was speaking. Yeah. He said, if you will, you can touch me and make me whole. You can touch me with the way you treat me today. Woo. You can touch me with your response today. Yeah. You can touch thank me, you praise God. God. Jesus touched but thank God there was something in the physical touch that he released. And that's the power of the most high God, praise God. But it came out of love. It was born out of love, bless God. Women of power, praise God, carry love, praise God. Love was speaking, you say nothing. Love was speaking your action. Love was speaking your attitude, praise God. Love was speak, praise God. There are many opportunities in our world that we have that people that may not be living like we're living, doing like we think they should do or whatever. In fact, Jesus can tell you about people who uh, will uh, dog you out. He was sitting at the house of sinners, praise God. Yes. Well, what you doing sitting with them sinners? What you doing out on the street witnessing to those sinners? What you doing? Don't you dare be found to go into a bar, not knowing if you're a kingdom citizen. Yes. And if you're on rule from God, it's going to challenge those religious yes. factors. It's going to challenge what we think, praise Amen. God. There may be somebody in there that's about to kill themselves. But you and your religious self say, I'm not going to go in there. Sister Susan may find out I went in there, you know. And here God is trying to spare and save somebody's life, you know. But 
There's some restraints God wants to break today. There's some things God wants to break off us today. There's some new freedom. The Bible says, where the spirit of Christ is, there's liberty. How much liberty do we have? Do we have a liberty to obey God, even though somebody may find it controversial? Yes, yes, yes. You go in there. Many people, testimonies, because somebody dared to come in there. I was going to go home and do away with myself. Because a man of God dared to come right into the bar and tell me about Jesus. That saved my life. Yes. That's it. Where are those kind of people today? Where are those kind of women today, praise God? Yes, Jesus. That are not worried about what people may think per se. Of course, we all would like for people to think well, but that's the thing is, they're not, praise Jesus. Amen. But what does God think about your actions? What does God? I believe the scripture says we ought to obey God rather than man. Praise oh, God. Thank you, Lord. There comes a time that in this hour, the necessity of this hour, God may call us out to do something mighty controversial in this hour. Praise God. Yes. The kingdom of God is at hand. <coughs> You're operating in power. You're the one that he's pulling to the forefront. And he'll be pulling those that were called barren, those that were called yes. harlots and yes. prostitutes. Yes. Praise God. Yes. Because, Ooh. praise God, they were now yes. many times before Ooh. the straight leg. Uh, something happens when women of power speak, praise God. Yes, yes, something yes, happens yes, when we speak. Yes, amen. Something yes. happens. God said, now it's time. What you talking about, God? Now it's time. Now that they done pointed you out. Now that they said, oh, that's just, he just, you know, that's David, the shepherd boy over there. He just singing to a few sheep over there. But all oh, the clock is turning. Purpose is coming. Yes. Destiny is rolling. It's time to get some things done. Since Samuel the prophet, you go over there to Jesse's house and you anoint, bless God. Yes. You anoint uh, the one that I tell you to anoint. Amen. Samuel gets over there and he looks at everybody, but he does not look at the one that God was looking for. He deems everybody, surely this is the one. Uh -huh. They're tall of stature, that this, that that. Surely this is the one. But the two forth, none of them was the one. Went through all uh, seven of those sons, not one of them. The prophet said, wait, this, this case, do you have another one? Do you have somebody else? Do you have, they had counted David out. Their own family had counted him out. Their uh -huh. own family uh -huh. had said, uh -huh. uh, no, he's not. Oh, That's the yes. one God is looking for in this hour. Yes. They yes. counted you out, yes. so I'm going to count you in, yes. praise God. You're the one that I'm looking for. And so he anoints David. Yes. yes, we see a process begin. How he ends up being the king of, of Israel. He ends oh, up yes, God, being a man after God's own heart. Own, uh, own heart. Didn't say he was perfect, but God loved him. Praise uh -huh. God. Amen. Oh Amen. yes, yes, yes. And when I think of Esther today, I think of <laughs> Esther God. and oh, praise Jesus. Uh, Esther, just look at her. Who would have thought? What does it take to be queen? What can I do to get myself around the throne or close to somebody with influence? Uh -huh. what, what can I do? Ooh. Tragedy, hard times, does not mean that there's not a purpose in those things. Thank you. A diamond, they say, we look a bit of pressure, huh? So it does not mean, you know, it could mean that there's something on the end, on the end of that light. God said, I cause all things to work together for the good for them that love the Lord yes. and called according to his purpose. Because it could be that you're in the will of God. He has a divine assignment for your life. And he said, well, we're just going to use it to get her from point A to point B. I know it may be a little turbulence. I know she may be a little upset. But it's going to work for her good, praise yes. God. Amen. That brings her to a place, bless God, where she's now. She's queen. She's going through a purification time. She's a... <clears throat> And, uh, okay, <laughs> the Lord said, don't forget, somebody else was kicked out of that seat That's that right. Esther's about to take. Oh, so somebody's out there about to be, be thrown, so you better hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's be repentant, praise God, this hour, praise God, because somebody, God is appointed for that seat. So let's be careful how we honor the seats that we sit in, bless God, because God has somebody in, the, uh, um, in line for those seats, bless God. So anyway, Esther's there, okay, she gets a word from uh, Mordecai, uh, Haman, a uh, blessed God, that a traitor, so to speak, had set up a plan with the king, had, had the king put out a decree, all the Israel, uh, all the Jews were to be killed, were to be killed, and Mordecai sends a word telling Esther, you need to really go and tell the king about this setup, because they are ready to slaughter us, and Esther was hesitant, I can't, you know, he said, who knows 
if you're in this place for such a time as this. Who knows if you're sitting right here just to see one key word could be go. Another key word could be stop. Another key word could be yield. We see it all over the city, bless God, just depending on what you're going to do with it, bless God. Thank you, Jesus. And so uh, he said, who knows if you're called to the kingdom for such a time as this? Who knows if God's house is on this street, 1033 Bird Street, Hallelujah. for such a time as this? Yes. Who knows is that everything now all around is rocking and reeling in the world? Somebody's going to need a little bit of stabilization. Somebody's going to need some peace today. Somebody's going to need it, bless God, some kindness, some love, and some help, praise yes. Jesus. Yes. 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 Bless God. Who knows if you're sitting right here for such a time as this, bless God. And as a result, bless God, we see, bless God, a mother car says, and don't think that you're going to get away too. Don't you think that they're not coming after you. You bear the same uh, name we bear, you know. So don't think you won't be uncovered. And she devises a plan. She said, y'all fast. You go and tell the people to fast. Me and my mates, we're going to fast three days and three nights, bless God. And she gives us a word that's going to help us right now. She said, because if you go before the king, before your call, because he was in the inner chamber, your head could be cut off without any explanation. So, except he would hold out the golden scepter, you know, that's the only way that her head would remain intact. Mm -hmm. So, she said, if I perish, I perish. Yeah. God is looking for somebody today with a made up mind. If I perish, yes. I perish. I'm going to do this thing. It may have been a little hard now. It may be a little tedious now. It may not make sense now. But if I perish, I perish. Praise God. That's a weighty word. Amen. That's a weighty word. I remember years ago in fasting and everything, God used to have us fast and oh my God. And uh, no water and no food. Just for days, you know. And sometimes it be so extreme on your physical man that your body, you felt like you're going to throw all these things. It's just, you know. But my key word was, if I perish, I perish. If I turn to skin and bone, I will get through this fast. Yeah. And uh, bless God, that was um, a, a word that God gave me that helped me go through. You know, if they talk about me, they talk about me. I'm going to stand my ground for yes. God. Yes, you know? hallelujah. So remember Esther, something happens when women of power speak, praise God. She was in a position. She was in a place of authority. And no matter what your platform may be today, you may be the mom, you may be the school teacher, you may be the nurse, you may be that um, uh, whatever uh, thing that you do, bless God, but know that as a body part, God has a platform for you. Amen. You have something to do. There are people you pass every day. You don't know which ones are assigned to you. And I um, thank God for my husband, I was thinking, you know, uh, he went through a difficult time, praise God. Uh, uh, last year, about this time he was coming out of the hospital, the doctors had given him up. The doctors said, uh, it's no use. They get all, all these things, you know. But through every challenge, from the livers and kidneys and uh, all this stuff starts shut, shut down, uh, God just kept on moving. God, God had given us a word before we went yes. in there. He gave us a word. I was doing the dishes before my husband went to the hospital, and um, he said, uh, go and tell your husband plan to live. Because yeah. years ago, they had diagnosed him with heart trouble, heart failure, and all the things. He said, tell your husband, plan to live. I went in there and started doing this. I said, hon, uh, God said, plan to live. Well, we didn't know that uh, a day or so later, we would end up in the hospital. I mean, tubes. I mean, from one hospital to the other hospital. And uh, they said, call the family in, blah, blah, blah. I said, no, we ain't calling nobody in. Nobody coming in here unless they're going to celebrate, you know, because God said, plan to live, you know. And so we just continued to roll along, you know, and then we uh, finally found that thing. They were looking for the machines to do this. And, and the, uh, the head doctor at the end, she said, uh, well, you can just uh, just count on things and really go. Not, they didn't have good bedside manners, you know. Things are not gonna work out for you and stuff, you know. And I said, I said God has to respond first. Yes. They come back, check the machines, and every test, everything. God start popping it, start blessing the comeback, blessing the comeback. Right? And so taking them home. I said, no, we won't be need that. And that was that was over a year ago and stuff, you know. And so my husband is up and running and running well, and I'm just praising God. He's got yes. the power when he moved by what God has yes. said. Yes. They will yes. say what their dad has said about the situation. Yeah, no matter how it may look, bless God, but they will bear witness.
saying this, yes. but God has said, praise God. Amen. Something happened, praise God. So now is the time that we're going to begin to rise up and declare and decree the matter, praise, praise God. Yes. What yes. will be your declaration today? What will be your decrees today? God is looking for somebody that will plant a garden in this world. Plant a garden. And usually they do it in the springtime. But it's time for us to speak life. It's time for us to prophesy life. It's time for us to bless God to call those things that be not as though they were. Praise yes. God. It's time for us to fight the good fight of faith. Praise God. It's time for us, bless God, to say what our daddy said. Yes. Children have a knack of saying what their daddy said. Praise God. Yes. How they can't yes. daddy proclaim what their daddy said. You know, he's looking for those who will speak life over their situation. Praise God. Yes. Something happens when women of power speak. And remember, we don't speak uh, just with our vocals, but your kindness speaks, praise God. Hallelujah. Your stance speak. Your song will speak, praise God. Your testimony will speak, bless God. Amen. The way you serve the Lord without complaints will speak today, praise God. People see that. It means that you carry an aroma. There's something about you that you carry that somebody can see that thing called Jesus upon you, praise God. And whether you ever get a name for it or uh, what, but it speaks. You, I see you, my sister, you're sitting and you're just shining. The presence of the Lord is just shining. Yeah, yeah you, bless God. The presence of the Lord Amen. is radiating. God is speaking, though I have not heard your voice. Yeah. Something happens when women of power speak, praise God. Yes, I see the presence of the Lord upon you. But it's not just a presence upon you. It radiates, radiates to others that are open, praise God. Thank you, God. And we get blessed. Yes. 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 Praise God. Yes. I feel yes. the presence of the Lord, praise God, coming forth from you sitting in that seat. You yes. came today as minister. You are the minister, praise God. You are ministering yes. life in this room. Now everybody carries that, praise yes. God. And this is an hour God said he wants you to continue to build your atmosphere. Thank Begin you, to build, go into a new place of praise. Going to a new place of worship around your home, just being there. God. God said, You building your atmosphere. Yes. There's a spirit coming to you where God can cause the glory of God to rest. You know why? Because you've got muscle. You're able to bear the glory. Oh, You're yes, able God. to bear the weight from God. Yes. So don't you stop. Bless God. He's coming to those that people have pointed and called out, yes. disqualified, and said, oh, there's nothing. No, 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 no. You be the one, praise God. You be, God. And sister, you be the one behind. There's something bouncing off of you today, praise God. Oh, yeah. You be the one. You go back to your daddy today, praise God. And you begin to talk your heart to God. You spill your heart to God. Because I see God wants to pour in the oil of the spirit into you. Bless God. There's something about you. God is not looking for age. He's not looking for beauty. He's not looking for this or that. But somebody that's available to him. Praise God. Yes. Are you available to go into the doctor's Ooh. office and just sit that others can be healed? Praise God. Thank with the God. joy, with the peace, with the presence that you carry. I'm looking for somebody that will be contagious, praise God. That, that somebody can sit in your vicinity and they can be healed, bless God. That, that somebody can pass you and they can pass love, bless God. Yes. They'll Ooh. pass freedom, praise God. They will pass liberty. Yes. It's a living thing that God does today, praise God. Mary was a carrier of hope. She was a carrier of peace. She was a carrier of joy. She was a carrier of a powerful ministry. It's a ministry called life. Jesus said, I am come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. But if I can't find nobody to flow through, if I can't find uh, my sister up here, she was up here just singing and doing the uh, worship today. Yes. And I didn't have my camera on because I like to get permission of who I'm going to film. You know, I put it on myself, you know, but I didn't have it, you know, didn't ask today for that, you know. So, but I was thinking, I said, God, I wish that I, I said, because she was bouncing back, you know, just yes. into her word, praying yes. to Jesus, but the yes. glory, the power, uh -huh. the presence of God was yes. so on you. You were ministering. We saw Jesus stepping yes. up, stepping up to him, yes. bless God. Lord, you can't see Jesus and not be blessed. You can't see Jesus and stay in a mess. You can't yes. see Jesus and be filled with all this stress, praise God. Oh, bless God. So, thank God for you, my sister, bless God. Yes. And as you continue to give, give, I just sense God was going <laughs> and then some just a lip, he just like a balloon or something, and just like some little lines. And God said, Uh uh, he said, I'm gonna move that. I'm gonna move that. 
because your muscles been built a long time to carry some glory. Yeah. Your muscles have been built up for such a day as this. And God said you're going to shift into a new dimension. Yeah. Now, you're going to shift to some high hallelujahs in the courts of heaven. You're going to shift, bless God, to a new dimension of power for this hour, bless God. You're going to shift, and when you do that little dance and through here, bless God, God said, I'm going to make a sound out of those feet, bless God. I'm going to pop healing into somebody's body, bless God. When you begin to clap your hands, I'm going to pop healing. Signs and wonders and miracles of somebody's body. I'm going to saturate you, marinate you. I want to come. I want some romance with you. I want some intimacy with you. Even in a greater dimension, God, baby, God's going to put some glory on you. Praise God. Ah, do we have space? Martha didn't have space. She did not have space. She did not have space. Martha didn't have space. But when you have space, God will give you grace. When you have space, yes. Yes, yes. Space. Oh, yes. Give me space. Give me space that I can move in. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Uh -uh. Get that out the way. Get that attitude out the way. Get yes. this out the way. Yes. Give me space. Yes. yes. He's looking for somebody that's hungry in this hour. Yes. Hungry to be that vessel. Hungry to carry God's glory. Hungry, praise God. Thank you, God. Somebody just thirsty, bless God. I thought about you, Pastor uh, Jackson. Like, praise God. I thought about the way station here. I was thinking the other day, and I started laughing. I said, oh, God, if ever time that we needed a way station, this be the time. Yes. yes this be the time that people are feeling like going out of their minds. So much bad news on the airways, praise God. This be the time. Where is a place that I can go in and sit in the presence of the Lord? Where is a place that I can go in and leave the performance outside and I can just sit? And I can just let the Lord saturate me. I can just let the Lord maturate me. Where is its place? The way station. God said, I know the address. I've not forgotten. Yes. And this word is sure, praise God. This is a way station. Get up in the morning. God, I thank you for your way station. Yeah. In fact, I think yeah. I'm going to step over in there, Lord God, and get myself rejuvenated, get myself restored, get myself renewed in this atmosphere, praise God. God. Can we give the Lord a hand wave? Yes. Let's give him a hand wave. Let's just take a moment and give him a hand wave. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, oh, the King of Glory is in the house. Give him a hand wave. Just give him a hand wave. Let's praise him. Let's magnify him. He loves you, praise God. He has a purpose for you, praise God. And just think when he looks at you, bless God. He never blinks, bless God. He never winks, praise God. On your moment by moment, praise God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, Rabbi Yassatai, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, bless God. And to those that are open today, just keep giving that way, praise God. But I see words falling from the ceiling, praise God. I see a word called restoration. Beginning to fall, even as you give him that hand wave, be yielded ground. Let God put that seed on the inside. Let him put that restoration on the inside of you, praise God. I see healing come to somebody's head today, praise God. Let God put the, let God that healing. Let him manifest. Let him leave you changed today, praise God. This Jesus is in the house. You know, the one with power, the one with glory, the one with majesty, the one that testified that wherever two or three are similar together in my name, he said, there am I in the midst, praise God. He's in the house today. The same yesterday, today, and forever. That God is in the house today. Uh, the one that's going about doing good, healing all that oppressive the devil, he's in the house today. Oh, Lord Jesus. Somebody say Jesus. Oh, God, touch me. As the leper said, Lord, if thou will, thou can make me whole. One touch. Just one touch from you, Jesus. One touch from you, Lord. One touch. One touch. Who's open to receive that touch today? Who's open for more than that? Ground today, praise God. Who is yielded ground, praise God? He said, I am come. 
come, uh, that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Uh, I'm in this place today that you have life and have it more abundantly. My ways have not changed. My plans for your life have not changed. I know the plans that I have for you. Uh, plans that you have a future hope and expected in. Uh, I am here in this place. Uh, I am looking for yield the ground. I'm looking for available vessels. Uh, who can I plant my breath into? <laughs> Who can I put my word into? Uh, who can I saturate today? Who can I maturate today? Who is it that's looking for my touch today? Yes. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Somebody say, have your way, Lord. 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 Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Have your way, Lord. Father, we bless and we praise you and we magnify you, God. Oh, Lord God, for having your way in our midst today, oh, Father. Be glorified, be magnified. Being exalted, yes. Father. Yes. We bless you, Father God, for walking through this place, yes. Lord God. Walking through, Lord God. Oh God, in the pews, oh Father. We bless you, Father, for your presence, for your wind, for your breath, Father God. Oh, for your power, for your glory, your majesty, Lord God. Oh, we depend on your word, God. You are in our midst today, Father. Oh God, you're here, there, and everywhere. You're right with us. Your name is Emmanuel, Father. There are those that came, God, that are dealing with issues today. Father. Oh God, and somebody has said, if I can just touch the hem of his garment, uh, uh, my body will be healed. Uh, my situation will be made better. Somebody came and placed themselves, Lord God, yes. right into your presence uh, because they need a breakthrough, God. Uh, and you are the God of the breakthrough, Father. Yes. And we thank you today for breaking them through, Father. Thank we thank you for lifting their glass ceiling over their head where they couldn't seem to go further, God. But today it breaks uh, in the name of Jesus, Father, shadows, Lord God. We thank you for blessing them to rise and blessing their families to rise and their loved ones to rise, Father. Oh, Lord, we thank you that you're the same God. Oh, Father God, when the woman with the issue of blood came to you, she said, if I can just but touch the hem of his garment, I shall be made whole. Oh, God, we ask you, Father God, put a new decree in the hearts of your people right now, God. Oh, God, let them begin to call out in their hearts what it is that they need right now, God. Oh, let that testimony be if I can just touch you, if I can just get Jesus' attention, uh, and you're looking at him right now, Lord God, what is it that they need, God? What is it that you're seeing, oh, Father God? Oh, God, we thank you for answering, Father God. They cry, God. Oh, Father, we thank you today, God. Oh, God, we take authority over all confusion today. Yes. In the name of Jesus, we bind it. We bind the spirit of stress. We bind anxiety. Yes. We take authority yes. over the fear. In Jesus' name, we bind the spirit of hopelessness. In the name of Jesus, we bind that spirit of no use. In the name of Jesus, Father God. Oh, Lord God, we thank and praise you, Father God. And we superimpose your word over your people that I am come. I'm in this place today that you might have life life and have it more abundantly that you don't leave the same way that you came that you know that I am that I am I am still going about doing good killing all that oppress of the devil how is it that you can come into my presence and leave the same way how is it that I would not touch you how is it that you think that I would violate my word today and not heal you not strengthen you not uh, not lead you and guide you and provide for you. How is it that you would look at me and not remember that I am your shepherd and you shall not want? I am the one that make you to lie down in green pastures. I lead you beside the still waters. I'm the one that restore your soul. Oh, and I'm the one that leads you in the paths of righteousness for my name's sake. I am that I am. I am that I am. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Lord, we release, Lord God, your fresh wind, Father, in the name of Jesus. Hey, oh. We just release the fresh wind of God. Thank you, Lord. We release your fresh wind. We release your fresh wind. Yes. We release the fresh wind. Yes. Yes. Oh, thank you. Restoration. Oh, Revival. Oh, Increase. Oh, God, we thank you for the heavens are open. Thank you for the rain of your spirit. Saturate us today, God. We release that rain, Father. Oh, God, from the crown of our head to the soles of our feet. Rain, Father. Oh, that all on the inside. Oh, God, we're being saturated with your rain. Saturated by your spirit, oh, Father God. Saturated with new hope.
hope, God. Saturated with increase, Lord God. Saturated with rejuvenation, Father God. Saturated, renewal, Father, with revival. Saturated. God, thank you for your wind. Thank and praise you for the ways of your spirit, oh Father. In this place today, Father. Oh God, drench us, Lord God, with your kindness. Drench us with your word. Drench us with your power today, Father. Saturate us, Lord. Let the morning do saturate us. Let it make our house call today, Father. Oh, touch us from the inside out and the outside in, Father God. Oh, we bless you today, Father. Bless our families, God. Bless loved ones, Lord God. The loved ones of those that are sitting in these pews, Father God. Touch, Lord God. Touch, Lord God. Touch, Lord God. Even as they praise you, Father, we think of the change of breaking off at home, breaking off for the families, oh, Father God. Oh, Lord God, that with Paul and Silas, Father God, when they were praising those that were near, heard, oh, Father God, change, broke off of their lives too. So break it off, Father. Oh, can somebody give God a hallelujah? Can somebody give God a praise for your family? A praise for your home. Can somebody bless God, glorify God? Can somebody magnify Him? Can somebody make a big to do about Jesus? Can somebody praise Him? Can somebody lift Him? Can somebody get excited about His presence today? Can somebody push? Can somebody push? Can somebody push? Break that last praise. Break that last hallelujah. Break that last glory to God. Can can somebody press? Can somebody reach? Can somebody look up? Can somebody yield? Praise God. Push, push, push. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Can somebody give him a glory? Can somebody give him a shout? Can somebody bring down the walls of Jericho? Praise God. Can somebody make a joyful noise? Can somebody get happy? Can somebody dance before the Lord? Yeah. 
hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. The most high God is in the house of God. Our deliverance is in our midst today. Yes. Oh, the King of glory is in our midst. Jehovah Roha, the Lord yes. of Shepherd. Jehovah Roha, Rapha, the Lord who heals. He's in the house today. The Lord of righteousness, Jehovah Sikhanua. He's in the house today. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Ah, oh, bless God. I don't blame you. I praise him to praise God. He's been too good to me. I just can't tell it all. He's been too good. Save your sinners, bless God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. There's something about that name, Jesus. There's something about that name, Jesus. Somebody ought to just one more time call him by his name, praise God. Jesus. Let the devil let him know that. Let the devil know you know his name, Jesus. Wonder working God, Jesus. Promise keeper, Jesus. Savior, Jesus. Most high God. Oh, you're welcome in this place. You're awesome in this place. You're all together lovely, Father. You are perfection. You are God that's more than enough. Oh, hallelujah. Wonder working God. Marvelous are you, Father. Oh, we love you. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Oh, we love somebody ought to just tell them I love you, Lord. Somebody ought to get outrageous and break your last praise. Break your last praise, praise God. Get outrageous, praise God. Tell the Lord how you love him. Oh, tell God how you appreciate him. Oh, and this may be the last time we don't know. Bless God. This world, praise God. Oh, it's winding up. Bless God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh. I'm glad to be in the service. We're glad to be in the service yes. one more time, yes. Lord God. Because you are here in the service, Father. Yes. We're glad to be here because of you, Father. Yes. Because of your faithfulness, Father. Because you are on time, God, Father. We're happy, God. Oh, Father, we thank you today. We praise you today. Bless your people today, God. Bless your people today, Father. School them, tool them, fuel them, Father. Bless your women. Bless your men. Bless the children today, Father. Oh, Lord God, we thank you. Praise you. We're pouring out of your spirit today, God. Leaving us change. How could we not? Amen. He touched me. Somebody be touched by the Lord today. Jesus. He touched me. Oh, Lord. 